what benefits does, I mean, I can kind of think up some benefits in my mind of what could be the better alternative. To me, it sounds like collaborative law, but what other benefits could, maybe I'm not thinking about kind of pop up from collaborative law? So let's, um, one of the primary benefits of collaborative is everything is private. Um, um, in the traditional case, you have to file a financial affidavit, which has your income, your gross income, all your deductions, your net, all your assets, all your liabilities, all of your expenses. They're kind of out there. But in, in a collaborative case, you're not required to file the financial affidavit. You're not required to file an equitable distribution worksheet, which shows how you're splitting up. You know, so, sometimes you have some pretty significant assets or alimony or child support. And who wants the world to know how much money you're getting? That, you feel like a target. So the privacy true. aspect of it is huge. I also, of that. course, it's, it's way less expensive than a full-blown litigation case. <gasps> Go into court. Good point. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, it, so it's private. It's less expensive than significant litigation, and it also helps preserve the relationships. I mean, you know, you may be getting a divorce, but you're still mom, you're still dad, you're still got to raise these kids, you still got to get along with each other and communicate. Right. 